Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. In each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are continuing our series on the Planet of the Apes films as we take a look at the conquest of the Planet of the Apes. And if you are enjoying these videos, I do ask that you please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified with each new episode. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So today we are covering The Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. This movie was released on June 14th, 1972 and was directed by J. Lee Thompson. It was written by Paul Den and it was distributed by A. Pat Jack Productions. It was distributed by 20th Century Fox. Uh, the budget for this movie was $1.7 million, and it did a box office return of $9.7 million. In terms of the production, J. Lee Thompson had been interested in directing a Planet of the Apes film ever since the first Planet of the Apes movie. Uh, producer Arthur P. Jacobs was hired him to direct this one as he was had kind of earned his stripes at this point. Uh, Thompson was a very detailed director and very detail-oriented in filming, going so far as to make sure that the apes and humans only wear certain colors during the movie. Uh, screenwriter Paul Den would use racial conflicts in North America during the 1970s as an influence for this story. Uh, the original story was actually uh, had a different ending, um, and it ended with the execution of Governor Beck. But after a preview screening in Phoenix on June 1, 1972, uh, production producers decided to rework the ending uh, for a different uh, for the one we have now. Uh, they did not have the budget for reshoots, so they had Roddy McDowell record his final speech and used editing tricks to get the final shots of the movie. Uh, this is the only ape film, uh, Planet of the Apes film, that does not have a pre-title sequence. Um, a pre-title sequence was written, and where they have a police shooting uh, an escaped ape and discovered that his body is covered with welts and bruises. Uh, there is no reason why this scene was deleted. Uh, I've tried to do some research and I couldn't really find anything. Uh, but it does appear in the novelization of the, of the film as well as the Marvel comic version of the film. So in terms of the cast, we have Roddy McDowell who plays Caesar, Don Murray who plays Governor Beck, Ricardo Montiban who plays Armando, Natalie Trudy who plays Lisa, Hari Rhodes, who plays McDonald, and Seven Darren, who plays Caught. So in terms of the plot, uh, Cornelius and Zyra's son, Caesar, led, leads apes to a revolution in the latest installment in the ape saga. Dogs and cats have been wiped out by a plague, and now apes are the household pets that are treated like slaves. Caesar has the intelligence, though, to fight this operation and oppression. Um, so there's not a lot of trivia with this movie. Uh, this just kind of like this one, and this kind of goes into my recommendation of the movie. Uh, this one seems like we just, they wanted to just get another Planet of the Apes movie out there. It feels rushed. Uh, the plot is very uh, simple and it just feels like you're leading to a climax that doesn't really exist. Um, you can really tell that this was just a low budget movie that they were trying to just keep the franchise alive. Um, and the hero of the story, Caesar, has real, real no character and there's no development. It relies solely on people remembering the previous Planet of the Apes films and having the sun at the end of that movie. Uh, but there's no development into his character. Um, and the villains are very generic and they don't really create any engaging conflict. So this one I would say definitely probably just skip it. Um, it's not the great, it's not one of the great Planet of the Apes films. And I think it's often mostly forgotten and obviously for good reason. So a bit of a shorter video this week, uh, but thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. I would love anyone to please leave a comment on what they think of the, plan of the conquest of the Planet of the Apes. So as we look forward to our next episode, we are going to be taking a look at an ensemble comedy as we take a look at Big Trouble, starring Tim Allen and Renee Russo. And stay for tuned for that episode's bonus story as we take a look at the history of the Disney Legends program. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.